Hey there do-it-yourself technicians. Today's episode is a bit of an unusual one. Repairing a Nebo Baby Guardian. On an average Friday afternoon a couple of weeks ago, I was heading to the chemist to pick up a prescription for one of the kids. As I was paying, one of the staff approached me. They said they'd seen the logo on my jumper and wondered if I fixed electronic things. She explained that they had a baby heart rate monitor for their little one, but that the charger was damaged so they couldn't use it anymore. I offered to have a look and they dropped it off to me. It had been a USB charger, but somebody had pulled the end off the cable completely. In fact, when I received it, it was just a bare cable. They'd actually lost the USB plug, which turned out to be a pain, but I figured there's only four wires, how hard could it be? I stripped the wires back and then found an old white USB cable to match. I tried the most obvious wiring layout, red, positive 5 volts, and black, ground, and connected them up. Nothing. So I did a bit of testing to see what I could find. There were some other logical combinations. So I broke out a breadboard that was in a kit that I'd just bought, and tried them. I ended up having to plug the wires into the breadboard because the USB cables were so tiny that they'd barely stay in there. What seemed like logical colour combinations just didn't seem to work. I did some web research and found the company website and even the manual for the device, but neither of them were terribly helpful. Through their help desk site, I found an FAQ that told me what the lights should look like once I got it working, which was some sort of a start. Then I noticed a support button down the bottom right corner of the screen where I could leave them a message. So I sent them a request explained the situation and asked if maybe they had a wiring diagram for the cable. I figured I had nothing to lose, just like a mother approaching a complete stranger in a chemist to ask for help in the first place. I never really expected a response, so I kept working. I opened up the base station itself in case there were some clues in there or maybe problems. Nothing really useful. I was at least able to test that all of the wires from the cut end did reach the device, so there were no further breaks in the cable. I could also see the LEDs that were supposed to light up pretty colours. At this point, I gave up and went to bed. I thought, maybe if I sleep on it, I'll get a great idea. About 28 hours later, this email appeared in my inbox. It included this wiring diagram for the cable. The data wires were actually joined at the plug, and then the orange added to the red 5 volt, and the brown added to the black ground wire. Who knew? Or maybe it's some sort of weird standard that I don't know about. I wired it up on the breadboard and tested it. Lo and behold, it worked. Some less than perfect soldering and some heat shrink, and the whole thing was ready to go back to its happy owner, and hopefully protect their little baby. There was quite a few things to learn from this whole process. Ask and you shall receive is the big one for me. It came up twice. Once with a mum who was brave enough to approach a stranger in the chemist, and then a second time when I thought, why not ask the help desk and see if they have a wiring diagram? I've also learnt it's worth wearing my logo jumper when I'm out in public, especially if it's going to connect me with the right people at the right time. Question of the day. Have you had a great ask and you shall receive moment? Let me know in the comments down below. And if this video was useful to you, give it a thumbs up. Thank you. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician. Learn about the technology, protect yourself from the bad guys, and fix it when it breaks. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's some older videos you may not have seen before, here and here. And you can subscribe to the channel by clicking down here, or our mailing list by clicking up here. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye.